It's Autodesk University 2009. I'm Ralph Bond for Autodesk. We're here in the AEC Lounge. We're here with Harry McKinney, who's the Virtual Design Construction Manager for Clancy & Thay's Construction Company. And Harry, I understand you want to talk about the BIM model, that is, taking the BIM model and making sure it's a true representation of what's actually going to be built. So if you could explain that to us, that would be great. Sure, Ralph, thanks. You know, as, as we look at virtual design construction in our company, we think of it as being a true representation of what the building's actually going to be once it's in construction. So uh, we feel like if we want to ensure that that building, uh, that that model is an accurate representation, then we need to be sure that what we put into it is as accurate as what's going to be built. So uh, one, of our, one of our concerns is how do we get the subcontractor models to be at that level of accuracy? So we, we're putting a, a series of things in place to try to ensure that. And it, it first it started with education, trying to educate our subcontractors so that they uh, understand, one, what building information modeling is all about, and two, what kind of uh, tools that they need to help join us in this effort. So we started by um, s selecting some of our main subcontractors who were not up to the level that we were, and we had a half-day seminar with uh, the subcontractors. We started off with an overview of um, what building information modeling is, uh, is all about, some of what other subcontractors are doing here in the United States. Uh, we showed them some uh, examples of the projects we had completed, a few case studies of actual examples of uh, the benefits that we were seeing from it. Right. Then we went on to have an architect talk for about 15 minutes to tell them a little bit about the relationship they had had with us on a project to, to show that there was interest from the architecture community and that they were seeing good results from being able to work with a contractor on a modeling project. The program went on to where we, uh, at the end, had several software vendors, uh, Autodesk and some Autodesk-affiliated uh, vendors, to show what kinds of software is available in the industry today. And the, the goal in all this, uh, particularly in bringing in the software vendors, was to help open the eyes of these subcontractors so that they could see it was not just about the model itself, but there's a whole range of tools that is available in the software so that they can take this project all the way from uh, estimating into shop drawing preparation, acquiring material, fabrication, bringing that data into the field for installation, and then pushing it on into facility management. And what we were trying to show them is that you know, ju just because we want you to get involved in our coordination effort, it doesn't mean that that's the only purpose of this model. There's a, there's a lot of other potential and a lot of other benefit in that, but in the end, what we would get from this effort is that that model was going to be a fabrication level model. So that one, as we coordinate, it's reliable, we, we can trust it because mm -hmm. that is what the, the actual duct work and piping is going to be fabricated from. So, you know, we, we feel like we have, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long road to go to try to get these subcontractors up to that level, and we know that not all projects in the near future are going to have that level of accuracy, but that's where we want to start pushing our subcontractors to. And uh, these are the steps we've taken to try to, to make that happen for us. And I'll ask you one other question because it's a topic that's come up with folks from the construction industry like yourself that I've heard time and time again here at Autodesk University 2009. And that's the desire on the construction discipline part of the whole AEC landscape to be involved earlier in the project design. And a BIM process is conducive to that. Have you experienced that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think that where we want to see things go is to where we have a lot more, uh, much more earlier involvement in that design process. And I think that brings together uh, a lot of other trends in the industry today, such as lean construction, to where you get the knowledge from the subcontractor, from the people in the field. That information gets brought back to the designers early so that they can incorporate that into the design we also feel that that same principle applies to us as contractors and that we want that knowledge from our subcontractors as we begin to plan out the construction process. We want to get them together at the beginning of that planning process to understand what information is, is valuable to them or what issues are going, to, are going to be important to them and share that with the other subcontractors so that everybody starts the construction project really understanding the needs of, of each other project participant. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Ralph.